as a, as a positive uh, benefit to, to families. Uh, it's very important that, that, that you brought this back because I think that um, <laughs> in, in the shorthand of, of my presentation, I glossed over uh, a very important reality, which is in the rural subsistence economy that, uh, that vast numbers of people uh, are living with high infant mortality rates, uh, with the complete absence of social security systems, um, that children as a source of old age security and as a source of, 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 of labor uh, are terribly important. And to have a lot of children to ensure the survival of a certain number is also terribly important. Um, what, ha what, what I was trying to argue is that uh, even with that, um, women, given the choice between having five children and having ten, uh, women given the choice be ha between having a child every year or having them every other year or every third year, invariably opt, even in those very constrained economic circumstances, for lower fertility. And in making the argument that poor people need children, we were completely overlooking the fact that many, many, many women in these circumstances were desperate not to have so many children so close together. Uh, so what's happening in the family planning programs that have been successful in rural areas is that people are still having, over their reproductive lifetime, perhaps five children, but they're not having eight uh, or nine. And that's the beginning of the demographic transition. Uh, it's also true that as rapid urbanization occurs, as is happening in Africa, uh, the fertility calculation of families changes dramatically because outside the rural subsistence environment, children become much more costly uh, and their benefits are much further removed uh, from, from the immediate. Uh, and so fertility also, there, there are pressures for lower fertility as urbanization occurs and as industrialization occurs as the employment basis of families changes. Finally, let me comment on the, on the, the Bangladesh question. Um, the example I was giving was a very specific example of the benefits to, ta to families that practice family planning. I didn't make the argument that Bangladesh was better off economically as a result of family planning, uh, although I, I, one could make that case. Uh, but the specific case I was making is that if you take those people who were given access to family planning and made use of the services, and compare them with people who did not have access to such services. Those who had the services and used them were on the average 15 to 20 percent better off after 20 years than those who didn't. Uh, it's a, it, it, and it, it simply has to do with the benefits for families of having family planning services available. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think we, we can go on for an hour still, but uh, we have a fixed promise that we uh, should end at 7 o'clock. I have to apologize strongly to all those who were preparing their, have prepared some questions and interventions. We were looking for uh, another well, opportunity to have this exchange of salts. Normally I'm a little bit hesitant uh, with two, uh, for such a well-informed public to have two lectures in one session, but I think this evening has been extremely rich, extremely rich with both your contributions, as was the whole series of, of, of six lectures, as was hopefully the contribution to the uh, well innovation of the debate uh, in the Netherlands about these <coughs> issues, which is so, uh, as, as we have heard again uh, and underscored tonight, is so, uh, of, of which is, uh, we are so much in need of. Thank you so much. Uh, Professor Sinding for your, uh, well, indispensable contribution to the debate and, uh, well, really uh, your reputation and your qualification has been confirmed tonight uh, and, uh, well, you are very helpful for, uh, uh, for, for, for us to, uh, to, to, to go on with this line of thinking also in historical perspective. Mr. Minister, well, you made, uh, also you said, well, coming to certain 
practical uh, practical conclusions as you were a little bit well marginalizing them we listened carefully and you came with some suggestions which i think uh, will can be determined and of great uh, importance for the years to come in our policy good luck i was in really convinced when i said to you well no of your none of your predecessors has had such a rough time but you wish you really all the best in defending the outstanding <laughs> positions <laughs>